You know, back in the day, every year's NHL waiver draft featured uh, weird machinations and some really great players that shifted teams and some back backroom deals that still don't make any sense. Now, today, we're, the latest one we're talking about, to me, was one of the most important. It's the 1987 NHL waiver draft. Now, this was held on October 5th of that year. The rules were the same as they were in 1986, except that non-playoff clubs were only allowed to choose to not drop a player from the protected list when he made a selection in the first rounds of exclusive selections among themselves. In 86, you were afforded this luxury in any round. Now, at the time uh, of this event, uh, this was the busiest waiver draft ever. 17 players changed hands as a result of 15 draft picks. Doug Wickenheiser, the former Montreal number one draft pick, and Richard Zemlak were members of the Whalers and Rangers respectively for mere, mere minutes. When the Blues took Bill Root from the Whalers in the fourth round, the Blues dropped Wickenheiser from the protected list, and the Whalers claimed his compensation for Root in lieu of cash. However, he was not placed on the Whalers' protected list. In the fifth round, Wickenheiser was taken from the Whalers by the Canucks. Similarly, Zemlak was dropped when the Nordiques chose Stu Kulak from the Rangers, and the next round was taken from the Rangers by the North Stars. Some sources state that two other players changed hands during the waiver draft, Mark Lamb from the Red Wings to the Oilers, and Paul Fenton from the Rangers to the Kings. Now, uh, there still hasn't been any period sources to substantiate it. Uh, they have may have been offered on waivers later the same day for a reduced draft price. Now, teams were free to set whatever waiver price they wanted up to a maximum. But the players that were selected and moved could have made a great expansion team, and i tell you why. In the first round, Kevin McGuire was picked by the Bay of the Sabres from the Maple Leafs. But in a big surprise, Reggio Russelainen was taken by the Devils from the Edmonton Oilers. Now, if we all remember, the Oilers had just won the Cup. Now, Randy Boyd uh, was taken from the Oilers by Vancouver. Al Tour was taken uh, by the North Stars, again from Edmonton. And Charlie Simmerwall, people, was taken from the Bruins by Pittsburgh. Risto Sittlin, who uh, was a big uh, oiler for a while before moving on to Quebec, was taken to New Jersey in the second round, so they were building up their European defense. There was no picks in round three. In round four, Tim Tookie, who was a, a played a key factor with the Kings later on, was taken uh, from the Flyers. Glenn Cochran was taken by the uh, from the Canucks by the Blackhawks, and of course the Bell Root incident, uh, St. Louis taken him from Hartford, and Willie Plett was taken by the Bruins from the Rangers roster. Now, round five, another rugged player, Ed Hospitar, was taken by the Sabres from the Flyers. Then Jack O'Callaghan, who had a great career up, to, up then, by the Devils again, so that's three defensemen that the Devils had taken in this round. He was taken by the Blackhawks. Now, Doug, Doug Wickenheiser was then taken by Vancouver uh, fr uh, by, uh, from Hartford, and then Stu Kulak again by the Nordiques from the Rangers. Now, Zemlak uh, was taken in round six by, uh, by the Stars from the Rangers for Al Tour. Now, uh, just put this in perspective, ladies and gentlemen. The 87 season, a lot of the late 1970s, early 1980s WHA and NHL players were still in the mix. But the biggest fee, of course, was the Toronto Maple Leafs taking 40000 bucks for Kevin McGuire. But imagine uh, Boston only to, only decided on $2,500 for Charlie Simmer. I would pay $2,500 for Simmer for one day, let alone, I don't know how to get him for 2500 Anyway, so ladies and gentlemen, that's a, the, the quick story of the 87 NHL waiver draft, but it just shows you how far you can drop Rutzelainen, uh, uh, Stanley Cup champion, uh, you know, Doug Wickenheiser, number one draft pick, ends up in the waiver draft. Key players like Hosper and Tim Tucky, Silton, and again, moving teams. Uh, back in the day, waiver drafts, extremely, extremely interesting. Thanks for listening. Bye.